Hi. In this session we are going to discuss the concepts of leave and leave management. Okay, for that the chart module gives you a menu name, leave, leave request, leave request to approve, allocation request, allocation request to approve and leave summary. Okay, you have one configuration page also for the leaves that is leave type. <coughs> In the leave type configuration page for each organization the structure of leave is different. Some organization have compensatory leaves, some other organization doesn't have compensatory leaves, some other have paid, unpaid, and every uh, depending on the each organization's environment this leave structure will be different. So you can create uh, your leave structure as per your requirement and just just a leave type is creating. Then after validating this leave you the do automatically schedule and a meeting in the calendar of this leaf of this meeting type of site meeting is created as for us validating this leaf then if you need to have a double validation for the leaf then you can check it here and allow to override the limit if you are if you are putting some limit say 10 leaves in an year for the leaf type just then you cannot get more than 10 leaves in that year if you ha if you need to get if you are allowing more than 10 leaves per year uh, say in the sick leave you cannot expect how many leaves that you can give it, that can override the limit if he, the employee has some uh, some critical situations as uh, going through some si critical situations you are uh, you must give the leave to the employee. In those cases, you should uh, check the allow to override the limit. Now, I don't. I am not checking this. That's not my requirement, so I am not checking this. So, color in the report is red and active. This leave is active in the Odoo system while you are checking this active. So, saving this. This is how a new leave structure is. A new leave type is created. In this last view, you can show, you can see all the leave types. So here, only legal leaves are not allowing to override the limit. So let's see what happens. First case is allocation request. Allocation request is nothing but say in the time period that for the employee, how many leaves are allocating. For that request, you are creating allocation request. Say for any year, he will get uh, the legal leaves for an year he will get the legal leaves vacation if that is 15 <coughs> sorry which employee is getting that by employee more by employee if this is by employee that means the mode is by employee individual leave type if that is employee tag that is a group of that is a category of employees no problem which employee is asking for leave I am saying Mr. B Mr. B's leave structure is requested he is in the administration department this department is set while the employee creation so saving this all allocation requests a created will be populated in the allocation request to approve <coughs> sorry which is a view for the HR manager or some other manager's view so he will get the request and he will check it and if that is need to be approved leave then he is approving it or he can refuse as per his uh, decisions so approving this after approving this let's see what happens in the employee in the case of employee Mr. B, the remaining legal leaves are might be 15. Okay, after approval of allocation of legal legal leaves is set to 15. This will automatically reduce while you are requesting the leaves. Let's see how that is works. After this, the employee is requesting leave. Okay. Employee is requesting leave for vacation 15 days from 5. Let's see, more than 15 days request will be handled. How?
18, 15, 16 days the request. Let's see how this is handled. Which employee's labor request was that? Mr. B's legal leaves us 15, but now we are asking for 16 legal leaves. Let's see what happens. Mr. B's legal le request, legal leave request. That's came 0 by 15 now. Okay. And strain says the number of remaining leaves not sufficient for this leave type. So it shows that you don't have that much credit of leaves. Okay. So this shows us 0 by 15. Now I'm choosing. You have 9 days of leaves. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, the nine days is evaluated because he uh, he or she has fifteen leaves in his credit. Okay, F then you are taking nine days leaves. Then this leave request will be shown or populated in the HR manager's view. Okay, for Mr. B, all others are previously created. So we are getting the Mr. B is the request for 9 days after the HR decision he is going to approve us after approval of this leave let's see what happens in the employees remaining legal leaves system is a little bit slow no problem we will wait ok Mr. Mr. B. Leaves. Six days. Fifteen minus nine. That is six days leaves. Okay, that's automatically generated. Then, so you have understood how this leaves is going. First, we need to configure the leaves types then you need to allocation request is done for each type of leaves and the number of leaves if that is fixed then you need to set uh, you need to approve the allocation request then only you can request for the leave as per your requirement okay first the allocation request should be approved after that only you can get the leave. you can request for the leave and uh, with that request the HR manager will approve as per his decision Okay. This is how the leave is structured and you have one more tab named leave summary. So leave summary will give you a detailed view of how the type of the leave, depending on the type of the leave, this is how the leave type is generated. <coughs> or by employee, how many leaves are taken. Administrator has taken this much of leaves. <coughs> Sorry, Mr. B has taken this much of leaves. For each of the category, for each of those values, you can filter out the leaves as per your requirement for the start month and for each employee. How this is taken for May, each employee's leave. Okay. You can filter depending on these groups or taking more than one values and you can group it and filter it out. Or for each values, you can filter it out. This is how the leave structure are filtered and viewed okay then to approve leaves how many to approve leaves how many to validate leaves how many to confirm leaves everything is shown in the leaves summary page that's a evaluation page where you can sh see how many leaves are taken how many leaves are approved how many employees are taken this much of leaves how many category of the leaves are going this much a number and how this will be you can analyze from this data and you can structure more types of leaves and uh, you can de decide more more you can uh, get involved more uh, decisions from these analysis this is how the employees play you as handled in the Udo system is very easily is a very easy method for each organization to handle the leaves okay that's all about the leave hope you have enjoyed the session thank you very much